um let me go to my presentation so that uh, okay so um i just wanted to uh, introduce the world of cloud to you people so if you are aware about cloud um kindly bear with me for another two slides so i just wanted to start from the scrap so that uh, it would be easy for everyone to uh, take this forward so um this cloud is something um i just if if you want me to explain about cloud i don't want to go for the definitions that are in um, in the textual books so i just wanted to narrate few scenarios and uh, explain you what is cloud and take you to uh, aws and show what the industry is currently using how we are using cloud in our day to day activities so these are some of the things which i wanted to cover uh, in this presentation so uh, if you see if if someone ask me in a uh, layman term uh, what is your computer is made up of i'd say it is made up of hardware software and operating system so it's a, it's a simple term i would say uh, and if you see uh, if you ask me like uh, what uh, exactly uh, you do with your computer so i say i store my documents uh, documents related to my uh, certificates I, i store my videos i store my photos so and majority what i do is like i browse internet and uh, on random basis what i try to do is like i try to install uh, softwares that are essential for me to uh, sorry uh, like since i went into presentation mode i think it got stuck i'm very really sorry so uh, maybe i think uh, year after it will not have any issue um, so um, i was saying that um, uh, what would have happened uh, if you have lost 100 lines of 1000 lines of code like you are typing some 3000 lines of code and you lost 1000 lines of code or in between there is some um, uh, your your laptop got switched off or was there any uh, like if there is any physical disturbances happening in your machine uh, you lost some lines of code um, so if that is the case um then you might have lost your uh, entire code um these kind of things are some of the common issues faced by the developers uh, who were coding in the year 2000 sir yes sir uh, can you give a full screen sir slide sorry for the interruption uh, okay full screen you want um okay 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 you can answer okay full screen pona i think it is getting struck in a okay, no problem sir you proceed sir you proceed no issue. yeah okay fine no so maybe slides na romba use panna maten i have uh, i'll go into um, aws consoles so slides und or rendu moonu slide na use panuven sir so okay so, sir yeah. proceed sir proceed sorry for this yeah okay fine so uh, maybe uh, this is one scenario which uh, faced in early 2000 uh, your code is getting your machines are getting switched. which stuff lot of these things and running out of space so for example this this is something which many might be uh, facing in your mobile phones especially if you are using iphone uh, you might be uh, running out of space you might not have space to install new applications or you might not have a space for uh, adding some new photos into your um uh, into your mobile phone Th that's the same thing with respect to um, um with your machine for example now nowadays uh, machines are coming with 1 tb 2 tb uh, hard disk capacities are coming but in earlier days what had happened is like uh, there might be uh, only uh, i have used 180 gb hard disk uh, my brother has used 120 uh, 124 128 gb hard disk uh, machine so space is something uh, is very important with respect to uh, storage uh, we call in 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 terms of in technical terms in in industry perspective we don't call it a space we call it a storage so storage is something which is very important uh, for any organization purpose dead slow so like if you are using a machine and it is very slow or like you have dumped a lot of things and your machine is not responding as my machine didn't respond few minutes back because i have added a lot of things into my machine right so what would happen is like the machine might not have work um in a in a proper way and for example um the other scenario is like i want uh, a laptop only for 10 days i don't want my laptop for more than 10 days so these are some of the scenarios which uh, i just wanted to uh, say the reason why i wanted to say is uh if your um, uh, if your machine is getting switched off in between a movie uh, then you need to resume it uh, again uh, if if the movie is in your machine what you need to do is you need to again open your machine 
and uh, you need to open your uh, movie and again you need to uh, resume from the place where you have left that's really uh, irritating thing right so and if you have lost 1000 lines of code it's again an irritating thing um, uh, because of your machine and if you have missed your laptop your laptop itself is missing like someone has stolen your laptop or you missed you missed your laptop in your uh, relatives house or your friends house but still you wanted to access your laptop that is not possible right so and if you are running out of space you don't have any space in your machine you have added a lot of things into your machine and because of that your machine is dead slow and if you need only uh, if you need uh, some uh, if you need if, if you need some software or hardware only for a limited period of time so what is the real solution for these kind of scenario is cloud so cloud is the real uh, what cloud was the solution that that was proposed for all these kind of scenarios so if if someone is asking me to define cloud then i don't think uh, there is no standard definition uh, with respect to cloud so everyone uh, the reason why i uh, i place this picture is like um, there was an a big elephant so one was touching the trunk and saying that um, it is it is like a, a snake one was touching the uh, uh, legs of the uh, elephant and uh, saying that it, it it looked like a tree and uh, the other is saying something different so um, if if you ask uh, if you if you ask a blind person and ask him to touch the elephant on touching each and every part of the elephant he would say a different ex uh, meaning to it it is the same for cloud also so from the industry perspective cloud has got different meaning so uh, there is no standard meaning uh, for cloud so if you ask me uh, to define cloud in a simple terms whatever you do in your machine you can do it in a um, you can do it in a uh, web uh, related uh, like in the sense like everything is hosted on web so all you need is a thin client we call it as a thin client is a normal machine you can uh, access whatever the things you are doing with your thin uh, with your machine which is being hosted on internet so if you ask me a straightforward design all the computing all the computational requirements are hosted in internet of uh, network of network which is internet so all you need is access to one particular portal if you are going to access that particular portal in the entire computational requirement your computational all whatever whatever you do using your computer can be accomplished using that particular uh, uh, environment so it is like uh, uh, environment inside another environment we call it as virtualization so uh, this is a, a physical machine if i am going to connect to a cloud i am i am that, that cloud is hosted on internet so if i am going to host it uh, if i am going to access that particular cloud it is like i am accessing a virtual environment which is not physically present in my location so if you ask me the reason why i, I told uh, these scenarios so if it is made up of uh, your computer is made up of hardware software and operating system right everything is being delivered on cloud so you don't need any anything in your uh, in your in your location all you need is a very thin client with a minimal configuration that is more than sufficient whatever that you, you are doing in your machine you can accomplish using cloud so everything whatever 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 the uh, hardware and software requirements everything is available in cloud it's a, it's a, we we call it as a centralized um, environment which which has everything which has all the computational requirements which has all the software which has all the servers whatever you need whatever you accomplish using um, your normal machine you can accomplish using cloud that's one thing and the reason why i told uh, um, you you missed your running out of space um, dead slow and you want only for 10 days this is very important uh, cloud is like uh, for example if i am working for a client uh, and my client wants an application to be um, um, to be up and running only for 10 days and that application uh, is a very tedious application it cannot be hosted on my uh, normal machine so what i need is only for 10 days i need a machine i don't want the uh, machine to be uh, in my place for more than 10 days if i am going to have uh, that machine for more than 10 days my client will not be pay for will not be paying for me so i need that machine only for 10 days beyond that i don't want this machine so what i will do is like i will get a uh, all whatever the uh, things that are required for me i will get it from cloud for 10 days all i need is i need to pay for that 10 days i don't need to pay for more than 10 days so it's called as like we call it as a on demand computing where you you pay 
only for what you use and you can you don't need to have a physical asset in your in your uh, organization uh, which will occupy more than 10 days which you don't need uh, which you don't need for more than 10 days so in in a, in a lighter term if you want me to explain what is cloud for example if you, you your 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 native is um madurai and you want you are you are traveling to uh, chennai and you are also traveling to bangalore and if you you wanted to stay in an uh, you 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 are going to stay in chennai for two days and bangalore for two days if you are going to stay uh, if for staying in uh, bangalore for two days and chennai for two days will you buy a new house i don't think so you will not be buying a new house unless until you are a millionaire or billionaire for two days so what people will try to do is they'll go they'll check in in any hotel stay with there for two days and uh, check out after two days and come back to their native so this is what the cloud is all about all you need is like if you need any resource you if you need any uh, computational uh, if you need any hardware if you need any storage if you need any operating system for just for a limited period of time all you need to do is um, get it from the cloud use it and uh, throw back and you pay only for uh, uh, the days in which you are going to use it not not more than that the amount in which uh, the amount you are going to pay is only for the usage what you have accomplished so this is something like um, um, it's a very straightforward and uh, a practical oriented uh, uh, definition i wanted to give for cloud so um, the basics like as i said like um, hardware software operating system all these are like uh, if you, if you want any um, software for your um, for your need then that comes under saas that is software as a service if you need any infrastructure like if you need a storage uh, uh, hard disk to store your files to store your photos that comes under iaas infrastructure as a service if you need a platform if you are a developer and you need uh, to code something uh, you want to execute your code you need a platform right that comes under a uh, pass uh, platform as a service so you, i don't want to there are n number of services like this so in simple terms what we call it is x a a s what is this x means anything as service uh, the major benefit is of this particular thing is uh you don't need uh, you no need your physical machine uh, you can access your cloud anywhere anytime at and uh, at any point of time you can access your cloud anything anywhere anytime this is what a uh, main mantra of cloud so all you need is any machine uh, it's a common repository it, it's a common location right so you don't need uh, you, it is not a uh, uh, machine specific it's not like if if the file is getting stored in your machine you need to access that particular file only after logging into your machine so if it is in cloud you can access anywhere anytime at uh, at uh, uh, you can store anything also so this is what cloud is all about and if you see uh, some of the popular clouds which um, which is there in industry is like uh, um, if it is um, if it is a proprietary kind of a thing licensed um, um, cloud aws microsoft azure google cloud platform so these three are uh the popular and uh, uh, important cloud service providers uh, with respect to licensed one so if you want open source kind of a cloud we have apache cloud stack open stack um, open nebula eucalypt tabs lot of things are there with respect to open source also so this is these are some of the common cloud service providers all you need is either you can if you see uh, aws microsoft azure cloud uh, google cloud platform these are platforms all you need is create an account in these platforms uh, you can use uh, there are multiple services that whatever if you if you want to code you can launch a platform in these in these platforms you can create a platform on a platform and you can code on your own so uh, you don't need to set up anything all you need is sign up with these particular um, platforms you uh, uh, logging in do something close it come out you pay only for what you use and you don't you don't pay for uh, what you don't use or you don't pay for uh, anything more than what you have used so and if you see open stack and uh, um, this uh, open source um, clouds these you need to build up on your own so either you can build it on your so if you see open stack you can build it on your uh, laptop itself so that the laptop version of open stack is dev stack so you can build a, build a cloud on your home in your in your own machine itself so how the cloud would uh, would look like is uh, if you are going to build your uh, machine as a cloud your machine itself will act as a cloud 
in the sense like uh, if you are um, a cloud is like as i said it's a common platform or a, a common uh, uh, area right so for example if you are having 100 gb of uh, memory in your machine you can elect uh, you can allocate 20 gb for cloud so that you can access that 20 gb anywhere in this world and you can store if you are going to give access to anyone uh, even that person can access that particular cloud uh, to uh, from anywhere in this world and uh, you can store anything in that um, uh, 20 in the under in the 20 gb of data which you have made it as a um, cloud and if you see um, um the way in which uh, these services are provided is like either it is in a public mode or it is in a private mode or it's in a hybrid mode so in the sense like if you don't want everything uh, to be like if you want everything to be accessed in a globally uh, in a global environment or if you want everything to be accessed by everyone you can you can um, use a public cloud model which will uh, help you to uh, access all the cloud related all the cloud services across the world without any restriction but you need some credentials if you are going to use those credentials you can access those um, services at any point of time at anywhere and private cloud is something is like uh, you can access uh, only in a specified environment or only to a specific group uh, certain services will be provided for example if there are 100 services 100 um, um, services are available in cloud um you can host few services as a private you can host few services as public and even even you can even have hybrid mode of hybrid kind of model for example if you are if you are building an application for um, um providing a salary to your uh, uh, to your employees okay so what you will do is like you will collect some information from um from the employees like bank details and uh, um um and you will collect uh, the employee name employee id and everything right and you, you will be delivering that particular uh, uh, you will be accessing the bank accounts and you will be uh, depositing the salary into their bank account so these things cannot be open to everyone but uh, uh, employee id employee name these things can be open to everyone bank details amount transaction cannot be made to everyone so what kind of model people will try to do is uh, commonly accessed or unimportant things will go into private mode important sorry unimportant things will go into public mode important details will go into uh, private mode so it, it it would be like a mixture of public and private so i just wanted to uh, go uh, with respect to from the industry perspective so if you are going to ask uh, what is cloud uh, to a server administrator what is a, who is a server administrator in industries uh, a server administrator is a person who will provision a new service and give it to uh, the developers the developers will host some application into uh, host some application so if you ask me uh, if you ask a, um, um, a server administrator uh, if you go and ask him what is a cloud he will say cloud is a server it's a online server you would say um it is like it is not a, a local server it is a online server so um instead of like uh, if in a in a normal way like if if it is a local server it will be built upon uh, it, it will be built inside an uh, in a local area network or it it can be accessed within within a uh, within few um, uh, within a particular uh, network so if if your server is in cloud it can be accessed across the globe so um the difference is like uh, if if uh, if you ask a server administrator you would say um a normal server is completely different from cloud server he will define cloud as a service online service so it it doesn't mean that this is offline service um but on access basis um the local service can be accessed only within particular region whereas cloud service can be accessed across the globe so i just i'll just go through i'll just show you a demo so how the i'll pass for a minute and because i i just wanted to um i'll i just wanted to log into my aws console i'll pass for a minute and i'll reshare
I'm just going to log in to my machine using my credentials. So I don't want to share my screen and do that. Give me a second. I'll log into my AWS. Okay, I'll share my screen once again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, as I said, like I'm, I'm going to deal with um, uh, Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services is a cloud platform from the from Amazon. Uh, AWS gives you uh, the entire requirement, uh, whatever you do in your machine, whatever uh, you do with your laptop or with your local machine, you can access. You can you can add, you can have everything as as a service in this particular. Uh, in this particular platform so aws like uh, all you need to do is you need to um, sign up into this portal so you need you should have a credit card so to sign up to this particular uh, portal you need to have a credit card and it gives i'll, I'll share those details in the end, in the last slide how to sign up and all these things so just understand aws is a public cloud where the entire uh, your entire uh, computational requirement are hosted in this uh, in this uh, in this portal okay so what i told is um if you are going to use a normal server you can access uh, only from uh, within a particular region but if you are going to have a if you are going to create a new server in aws you can access that particular server across the globe right so i have already created few uh, i have already created one server test server so uh, the service which is um, which is used to create servers in AWS is EC2, Elastic Compute Cloud. And we call it as instance. So if whatever the uh, servers that you run or you create, we call it in, in AWS perspective, it is being called as instances. So I have already, I already have, I have already created two instances. So if um, creating a new instance is very easy. So all you need is like, a, So launch instance, that's it. I'll show you. Yep. So what you need to do is after signing into your AWS account, you need to search something called EC2. So this is called EC2. If you're going to uh, click this EC2, uh, it will land into a dashboard kind of a thing. So which I showed you in the previous screen. So this will be the uh, landing page if you're going to select EC2. EC2 is a service which will help you to create servers. and uh, there is something called launch instance. Launch instance will help you to create servers. So if you see here, if you are, there are two types, uh, there are multiple um, um, uh, service, there are multiple accounts. Like uh, if you are going to use free tier account, the services would be completely different. If you are going to use enterprise account, it would be completely different. It's like uh, uh, how much you pay, like uh, those kind of services will be given to you. So if you want, for example, uh, I'm a I'm a .NET developer. I need a, a Windows machine to host my application. So what I need to do is I need to go and select. Um, there are there are multiple things. If you want a Linux server, you can create a Linux server. If you want in Linux, if you wanted to go for a, a Red Hat, you can go for Red Hat. So if you want Ubuntu, you can you can create a Ubuntu server. Uh, if you want a Windows machine, you can create a Windows machine. So I I my requirement is a Windows machine. Uh, which will help me to uh, host a .NET application. Other than this, like if you want a database server, you can go and create a database server in EC2. And the best thing about EC2 or the cloud is you can access this particular server anywhere. 
irrespective of your machine if you are going to give access to uh, uh, the particular one particular user that particular user can access this machine anywhere in this world it doesn't mean that if you, if the if it is a local server you can you should you will be able to access that information only within a, that particular region if, for example if it is if the server was built in a lan you can access that particular server only in the lan if it is in cloud you can access anywhere so um, i'll just show you I'll, although i have created um, a machine already i'll just show you i'm just going for microsoft windows server based so i'm selecting it and uh, so even uh, with respect to the configuration of your machine uh, you can based upon your requirement you can you can choose whatever the thing you want but you need to be very careful you, uh, everything is like uh, it's a chargeable one so if you are going to use um, uh, one GB of data, one GB memory, and uh, if you want uh, the config, each and everything has its own cost. So based upon your requirement, you need to build this machine. So I'll go for the free tier eligible. This one. Then configuration details. If I want, if I wanted to host it in uh, in AWS, or if I wanted to connect it to uh, a new virtual uh, uh, private cloud environment, or if I wanted to connect it to my LAN, everything can be done using this configuration details. And I'll go for the next one: storage. This is something which you can um, like. If you want uh, 30 GB of data on your machine, you can add 30. If you want 100 GB of data in your machine, you can add 100. So you don't need to worry about the storage space if it is in your local machine what would happen is like you cannot expand this particular thing your your store uh, it will be limited right so if it is in cloud it is expandable you can expand you can add more volume if you, if you if you see this particular option in this option there is something called add volume so you can add new volume to your machine it, uh, there is no restriction. So in the first slide, I was saying you right. So if if your uh, machine is running out of space, if you have already occupied your machine uh, with a lot of photos and everything, but uh, what you will be doing is you will be adding external uh, memory card or you will be adding something right. So all these things are eliminated. You don't need anything. You don't need to buy another uh, hard disk or uh, pen drive or attach to your machine and do all these things. If you are running out of space. Uh, just simply add volume your uh, your volume will get automatically added you don't need to worry about, you don't need to worry about volume it will get automatically expanded but the thing you need to be worry is every volume what you add or what you use matters a lot so it is a cost like for each and every kb mb gb what you are using it 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 is uh, like there is a cost associated with it so next i don't need any tags because if i wanted to have if i have multiple servers i can tag those servers into uh, multiple name and new security group so how i wanted to access this particular server i can access this particular server in multiple ways rdp is the one one uh, popular uh, way in which we use to access remote desktop protocol is the one way in which we use to access the servers so i'm going with rdp itself and review and launch if i'm going to give this particular server will be configured and it will be up and running so i I'll, as i sold i already have a server in my um, in my i have already created a new server so i'll just show you so this is a demo machine which i have already created so um, the same steps which i have told you i have done that and i have created this demo machine so if i want to connect to this machine all i need to do is i just need to click connect select that and click connect so here um, with respect to security um, there is something called um, uh, there is there will be some um, what i would say um, there is some kind of encryption with respect to your password. So there is there will be a file called a PMP file. So you need to create this file in while uh, creating this particular instances. So I already created this file. So I'll just I, I need to get the password. Um, first, I need to download the RDP remote desktop file. So it is getting downloaded. So it is getting downloaded. So, yep. Okay, fine. So now I need a password. So to get a password, what I need to do is uh, there is a I have already created um, a file called demo.pam. So this file only if I upload this particular file, I will be and if I decrypt the uh, uh, the key that is there in that particular file, I'll get the password. So I'll just stop my screen and I'll get the password so that uh, for security reason I'm doing it. 
so again i'm stopping my screen give me a second so i copied uh, i'll once again share my screen so i copied my um, okay so i copied my uh, password and i'm just pasting in my password so if i'm going to run this yes a new machine will be hosted so what you are seeing is a computer on your computer if you if you exactly uh, imagine you are already using one computer and you are seeing my computer and you are seeing another computer in it so it's like a three layer of computer you are seeing so um, this in this server whatever i need i can do it so i configured using 30 gb of data so if you see um, so whatever so whatever for example if i wanted to run an application or if i wanted to uh, if i want to store some information whatever i wanted to do i can do this in this machine so uh, i have i have i have created a machine with 30 gb of data which uh, OS is already occupied 16.5 GB. I have 15 GB in hand, so I can use this machine to store enormous amount of data. Whatever, if I wanted to store, if I wanted to host an application or something, I can go ahead and do it. So this is one. Uh, Sir, sorry, your uh, voice is sorry, not Sorry, if you ask server at work, um, is it fine now, sir? Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, better, better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. So if you see, uh, there is something called instance state. So how the cost is being calculated for uh for this particular thing? For example, if you are if you are having a, a machine in your uh, in your environment. if you want to use this environment only for 10 minutes can you invest on uh, lakhs and lakhs of rupees and build a server and your environment you will not do it right i need if i need a server only for 10 minutes and i i will use it i will i will, I will simply go and create a um, uh, a server in this particular easy to instance and i will use it i will not buy um, buy a new server or buy a new machine for my temporary requirement so how the cost is being calculated is based upon the running hours so if you are if you are uh, per hour it is cost like if you are running your machine for more than for one hour there is some cost if you are using the machine for two hours the cost will be calculated for two hours if you are 10 days the cost will be calculated only for 10 days so if if what i am going to now do is i am going to stop my machine so now the cost will not be calculated for my machine so it will it will uh, uh, only for the running hours the cost will be calculated and i need to pay only for the running hours i don't need to pay for the hours in which my machine is in stop state so it is a benefit right so and moreover um, i don't need to uh, i uh, just i pay only for what i use i don't need to have that server physically present in my um, in my uh, environment or uh, maintain that server maintenance is something very very tedious task with respect to server so now it is stopped so all these maintenance and everything aws will take care of it all i need is use that server and come out of it so if it is in my uh, environment i need to maintain that server i need to run patches every every week i need to run the security patches that is being updated by all these things are taken care by aws i need i don't need to uh, worry about everything so this is something called this is uh, with respect to server okay so if you ask a storage administrator so what is uh, um what is cloud beans what you would say is cloud uh, cloud is a storage area 
you can store any information on cloud and you can access that particular information anywhere anytime you can store any any details or any data into that particular cloud so this is what a cloud a storage a, a storage administrator would define so in a normal environment where you store where you will be storing your information is hard disk whereas in cloud especially in aws we have something called s3 bucket simple secure cloud so we, we we have something called s3 bucket in s3 bucket so uh, what what you can do is you can create a bucket bucket is a entity where you can add data into that bucket so uh, you can separate yourself like for example i need to have movies in one bucket i need uh, i need um, i have created a bucket on my for my own purpose so uh, praveen test bucket 1 so i i have created this one bucket where i don't need for example you can you yourself can create a bucket for uh, like for example for movie you can create one bucket for uh, photos you can create one bucket for storing your code you can create one bucket the major advantage is all you need is like you can you can access that particular uh, you can access that particular if you if the if the Uh, if the, the data is stored in bucket in aws bucket uh, you can access this, uh, that data anywhere anytime at any point of time you can access it if it is in your local machine you need to log into your machine and access it if it is in uh, cloud you can access anywhere and you can store any data so irrespective of the uh, structure or irrespective of the nature you can store but uh, again uh, for each and every byte of data you store and use it in uh, in aws it will get cost if you are deleting the data from the aws environment you will not be getting cost you will be uh, you will be uh, you will be uh, build only for what you use and you will not be build for what you are not going to use so i have just simply added uh, one uh, welcome.php php file uh, just for demo purpose i added so if i wanted to add any new file or something i just go and upload that file desktop so if i for example i create a text file new i mean so i'm just creating a text file so all i'm just doing is i'm uploading it that's it my file get uploaded if this file is for example if i want to see if you see i can access this particular file using this using this url common public url so if i if i if i copy paste this particular url into my machine i think i should be getting that text file ah access denied because this i didn't give it as a public one i'll show you i'll i'll say you make public so if i'm going to make it as a public i will be able to access this particular um text document in a public environment so since i don't have any information into my um, uh, in the in the text file i don't find it so i what i'll do is so this is a text file which is in my machine so if i want to access this text file in my machine i can ac access only from this environment so if it is in cloud i can access anywhere so i am just uploading this particular uh, file once again add file desktop pravin next so i am going to grant access to public next standard one that is more than sufficient for me upload it is getting uploaded okay so now the text file got uploaded i guess let us see no i don't find i i'll just change the name and i'll upload so that i can say whether it is uploaded x y z upload file because since it is same name i think it didn't get uploaded next grant access public 
public access to that particular file. Next, standard is sufficient for me. Yep, X, Y, Z is now host. It is now in the S3 bucket. So all I need to do is copy this URL, paste it here. Yep. Whatever the information that is available in my local machine uh, text file, it is now available in that cloud. So the uh, major advantage is, again, I'm saying, so if it is in your local machine, you need to access that machine and do it. If it is in cloud, you can do it. You can access anywhere. So this is with respect to cloud uh, storage. So with respect to developer's perspective, so this is very important. So from developer's perspective, how you, you see cloud is, um, I have only three more slides. I'll finish it off. Don't worry. So Eclipse is something which you use for your development purpose, right? So, Supervin, uh, sir, yes, sir. Super, sorry for the interruption. I need one small yeah. query for this session. Uh, now yeah, you yeah. can create it for that in AWS. So after AWS, if any payment they have to charge us? Um, yep, yep. If you, if I if I upload that document into my AWS uh, environment for okay. every uh, KB or for every MB, whatever I am using it in AWS environment, I will be getting built. So if I don't want uh, that file, uh, if I don't, if I delete that, if I delete this particular file, it will not okay. be getting built. Okay, actually, in the last two months back, I have to create it for the same thing in AWS. Just okay. I have to create it for that in AWS only. I don't upload it for in anything. Okay, okay. Okay, but charges mm -hmm. it will be came. So that's why okay. I am asking so for you. It, it depends upon uh, the tire. And uh, for example, um, billing is depend upon, uh, billing is uh, based upon the amount of usage you are, you are going to use. You you might have exhausted the free tire. Uh, like for example, if if you are in uh, if you are using a free tire that is for twelve months, and if this particular uh, uh, data is more than the free tire, then it, uh, AWS might have built for you, sir. Okay, I, actually, na, na, the two months back only I have to create it for the AWS. Mm -hmm. Then after that, uh, monthly once only I have to open and close it them. Mm -hmm. I don't okay. use for that in anything. Okay. But anyway, so, the charges it will be came. Yeah, so yeah, because you are using it, right? So, for example, uh, two days, two months back, you have opened the AWS account, and, okay. and if you have created this particular uh, EC2 machine, uh, if you have created a server, and if that server okay. is running for past two months, means for running okay. uh, for the number of hours it is getting run, the bill will be generated. So, for okay. two months, if your server is in running state, it means that okay. AWS is thinking that you are using that particular server. So okay, it then, will be it will be built. You you will be built for that particular uh, hours in which the machine is getting okay. run. This is similar okay. for even for uh, this particular thing uh, S three bucket. So if you are going to use this particular uh, uh, data and if it is going to be in AWS environment, it will be charged. Okay, then how I can be stopped for that in AWS in EC two? Um, it's very simple. You can go to EC two instance. Okay. So you might have created some uh, instance uh, in EC2. So if you're going to EC2, if you're going to instance state, just click that particular instance. If it is in running state, it will be in charge. It, the billing okay. will be in, uh, going on. So all okay, you need okay. to do is instance state stop. That's stop. It. You're not getting. Okay. You'll not be getting charged. And still, okay. on one more step, if you if you really don't want this machine at all, then what you need to do is action instance state terminate. Okay, so good. directly your machine will be deleted from the AWS account. Okay, so once the server it can be running, the billing charge it can be applicable. Yep, 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 sir. Yep, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. So we'll uh, go with the developer's perspective. So from developer's perspective, what people will do is um, they'll have Eclipse in their in their machine. They'll uh, they'll develop some code. They'll deploy it in uh, either they deploy it in their local. Uh, host or they'll deploy it in a local machine or something they'll be doing right so same thing we can do it in aws also the best thing about aws uh, than uh, using it in a normal environment is if you are going to miss uh, any lines of code in normal environment you will not get back but in aws you have options to store your code that is something called code commit which will help you to store your all your code and aws lambda is a service 
uh, which will help you to run your code so you can you can it, it it's a platform uh, as i said it's a platform as a service where it will help you to run that particular code and you can you can check out what is the uh, exact behavior of that particular code using aws lambda Elastic Beanstack is a service which will help you to deploy that particular code. So in Eclipse, what a developer will try to do is he will develop, to, he will try to develop a code and he will try to deploy that code, right? So in AWS, you can develop that in using Lambda and you can deploy it using Elastic Beanstack. So I'll just show you um, how Lambda works. Lambda is one of the important service uh, with respect to AWS. So Lambda. So I have created this uh, uh, demo. Yep. So demo function. So before that, I'll show you how you can create a lambda. This this one I, which I've already created. I'll I'll show you uh, how a lambda function can be created. So there is there will be an option called uh, um, create lambda function. So all you need to do is go to in service after logging into AWS, go to something called the Lambda. If you are a developer and you need an environment to run your code or you need any code, if you want to build a code something, go to uh, Lambda function in AWS services. So you have, you can use a blueprint or you can use a service, serverless app, uh, app repository. This is something very huge. Um, maybe in some other point of time, I can explain you what is that. I'll go with uh, uh, from the scratch. So I, I'll just give my function name, for example, demo or demo underscore function. So, so what environment I need, that is what demo function is already taken. So I'll just say, I, I'm not going to create because I'll, I already have. So demo function, Praveen, I, this is the function name. What environment I need, for example, I can, I can, I can create environment as per my requirement. So I don't need to, for example, uh, if you want a Python, you can go ahead and use Python uh, um, from Lambda function. I don't need to install Python in my local machine. If I if I am going to install Python in my local machine, it will occupy space. Uh, my code uh, execution, my laptop will not be that sufficient to handle a large code. It will not be execute, uh, execution time will be very high. Uh, it it will be a dead slow. So if you connect with if you connect with the first two slide points, you can understand whatever I'm saying now. So if it is an AWS environment, it will be very uh, efficient. I can run the code. I can I can um, execute any number of code, and I can do a lot of things with the, with respect to AWS. If it is in my local environment, my local environment will not be able to uh, handle a thousand lines of code. I have because I have only four GB RAM. Uh, my um, configuration is very, very less. It will not be possible, right? So um, I, if I, I have already created a Python environment. So so all you need to do is create function. So if you're going to create a new environment will be created where you can create, you can run uh, Python programs. So I already have a uh, demo Lambda function, which I have created. So this is a, this I have I've just coded a very simple Python code. What this Python code will do is it will upload a file into S3 bucket. So this is uh, the uh, this is a sample code which I have created. So what this code will do is Python code will do is it will upload a sample uh, uh, file into uh, the S3 bucket, um, which is uh, Praveen test bucket one. This is my bucket. Okay. So I'll open um, S3 bucket also in the side side by side. I'll open my bucket. Mm -hmm. Praveen bucket. Okay. So these are the files that are available. So what uh, my uh, Lambda function is going to do is it is going to create a file called demo test file with these information. Okay. So uh, what I, what uh, uh, after creating a Lambda function, you will have uh, a, a environment like this where you can code. So uh, what I did is I, I, I typed this code and I have uh, saved it. So you will have option to save this code. So after saving this code, uh, all you need to do is uh, test. So if you're going to test this particular environment, particular code, it got executed. This particular code got executed. And if you see my S3 uh, bucket, 
a new demo file will be uh, generated demo test file text so if the, if this is in your local machine uh, then what you need to do is you need to connect uh, this code to aws then after uh, it's a tedious process right so uh, this connection is very easy because it is in the same environment my task is to, one of the tasks which was given to me is to upload a file using these information into s3 bucket so if it is in local environment uh, i need to connect it to aws environment using the credentials a lot of things will happen so if it is in aws environment if, if i what i did is i created an environment in my uh, aws environment itself i coded i executed and i i can see the result so this is what we call it as uh, lambda function uh, what you exactly do so elastic beanstalk is something uh, once you have coded for example if it is in a web application you have you have completed uh, coding that web application you need to deploy that web application right so for deploying purpose there is something called elastic beanstalk so what elastic beanstalk will try to do is it will uh, it will create an environment for you where you can deploy your application so i already have uh, what you need to do is create environment so so you you wanted to have a web server so i'm selecting it web server so application name what is the name of your application demo application i already have a demo application so i'm just doing it demo application underscore praveen this is the environment i am creating and the domain name in which the uh, the application is going going to get hosted is i will say praveen kumar the buddy like that check the availability it is not available so um if you have the code in your hand for example if it is upload your code is an option um so what you can do is either if you are you can store that particular code in s3 bucket and host this application or if you are having that particular uh, your your if, if you build your application and you have that uh, um, uh, application file in your local machine all you need to do is choose the file so if you are going to choose that uh, file and create environment a new environment will be created and your application will be getting hosted where it will get hosted it will be getting hosted in this particular uh, domain Uh, Pravin Kumar, the buddy. dot ap. dot south. dot elastic bean. dot com. So here, here your application will be hosted. So I have already have a demo. Um, so I do. I am not going to create a new environment. So I'll go to elastic bean. Start once again. So I already have a demo application. So this application is this is the URL of this application. I already deployed one sample thing. so you can see uh, the application getting uh, deployed here so demo application which uh, which has been deployed the same procedure whatever i have showed you in the uh, in a few minutes back same way you can create a, a elastic environment you can deploy your application so in overall view lambda will help you to create that application and elastic bean will help you to host that application in your cloud so if it is in a normal environment you need to you need to code it in eclipse then uh, it will be hosted in your local machine so if the if the if the application is hosted in your local machine you will not be able to access beyond your local machine so if it is in cloud you will be able to access globally so this is what all about with, from developer's perspective so if you ask a developer what is cloud you will say it's a platform to develop and deploy application so that's it and one user request which i got from uh, from the google form is to explain about aws iam so what is aws iam so what is aws iam is uh, identity identity management portal so for example you have i'll show you you can you need to have some kind of restriction right so um so you can create users uh, one that will be one super user that super user can create a user uh, multiple users uh, you can assign certain roles for example uh, user a can access only these services you can create only uh, ec2 instance you can store some uh, data into s3 bucket so there is something called users users is to create users you can create you uh, 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 administrator can create users and roles is something you can assign roles so these are the roles which uh, this particular user can do for example um 
he can create only uh, he can create only uh, ec2 instance he can create uh, these things you can assign uh, this particular things to uh, the user for example he can he will be able to do these kind of activities policies are something like uh, after creating a user and adding some um, um, services to that particular user we can we can restrict that certain things for example there is a user a he wants a server okay what you will to do, what you need to do is you can go to users you can create a user a and in roles you can specify uh, he, he can create a, a ec2 instance in policies what you need to do is you can give a policy like whether you need to have administrator access or local access whatever anything okay so if he wants administrator access he can go and give uh, in policies we can add administrator access to that particular role to particular user so this is what all about iam so i think i think i have completed almost everything into my um, into my presentation the final thing which i wanted to say is about the free tier if you want to use aws you can go to um, aws.com so uh, you can create a new account uh, in aws.com um, one year free subscription is being given from the aws 750 hours you can there are if you are going to explore uh, uh, there are a lot of things with respect to free account you can use this free account for one complete year and you need to be very careful in this free account if you are going to exceed the uh, uh, exact uh, in, if you are, for example you can use 750 hours of ec2 for example as is, i i told you right running state if it is exceeding more than 750 hours your running state of your ec2 machine then you will be uh, fast likewise lot of things are available if uh, s3 bucket you can use only 5 gb of data uh, rdbs you can uh, you can use only uh, 750 hours so there are lot of things with available so you can create for this you need a credit card so uh, if you are going to use beyond uh, the free service limit then you will be automatically charged and uh, you cannot delete your credit card details automatically the amount will be getting detected from your uh, credit card so i think uh, i have almost done with my presentation so if there is anything um, maybe i think i can answer the questions from you people